Hello everybody, today I'm in a work order. This is a 240 volt electric wrench. So the problem with this is that the top burner, this one on the right is not working. So it could be four things. It could be the switch, it could be the resistance, the burner, it could be the wiring, or it could be the receptacle. I'm gonna take you step by step, troubleshooting each one of them. So don't go anywhere, I'll be right back. So this is the burner that doesn't work, but when you turn it on, the burner on this light, it goes on. So just that tells me that maybe the switch is okay and there is a problem with the wiring or with the receptacle or with um, the burner itself. So uh, let's test the burners first. So now we want to test both burners, the small, the big one and the small one. So let's uh, test the big, the large one first. What you do is you're going to lift it up from here a little bit and then pull it out. And that's it. And then we have the two leads here. We're going to put our meter on ohms. And we're going to put one lead on one leg and the other one on the other side and it should be reading about uh, 20. No, this one, it's the big one. Yeah, it's about 20 ohms. So if you see 20 ohms there, that means it's okay. If it lets way less than that, then you should replace it. Or if it reads uh, OL, that means it's broken and it's not good and you have to replace it. Let's do another test. We're going to do continuity with sound. You have to, you have to hear that beep uh, to know that it's good. So one lead on one side, the other one here. And if you hear that, that's continuity. That means that there's a, a clear path between this one and this one all the way around. If it was broken somewhere, you would have no continuity. So let's put it back. And you're gonna pull it from here. Just like the other one. This small one is measure is gonna measure double the resistance. So let's place one lid on this side. And then the, this is going to be continuity. So we have continuity. And now let's change it to ohms. And it should be, so that's 37, 38 ohms. So between 38 and 40, it's fine. So if it was broken, it shouldn't, it shouldn't measure any continuity. Or if it reads OL, you should replace that burner. So we just tested the burners and they were fine. Now we're gonna test the receptacles. And in this type of uh, range, you just lift this cover and you'll see them there. See, this is the receptacle and there's two wires that go all the way to the back to the controls. And let me show you the other one here. Um, okay, right here, that thing you see there, this is the wiring and this is the receptacle. And then you can see the burner right on top. So that's the receptacle, it's faulty, it was sparking from there. And when I moved it, it worked. So I'm gonna turn the power off at the breaker first before I touch anything. So the range, it's usually 30 amps or more. So this is a double breaker and that's the range. So that's off. You have to double, make sure that there's no power. So this receptacle is very easy to remove. So there's a, you know, after you remove the burner, there's a quarter inch nut. So we're going to remove it. So we remove it from here. And if you see right here, it's this wire 
was burning so that's black so that's why it didn't have all full power to this receptacle so we're going to replace the whole wire and uh, I'll show you in the back so this is the back of the wrench now remember you have to kill the power either disconnect it from the plug or kill the breaker so there's this is the access for the wiring here so we're going to remove a few screws these are these are quarter inch screws so this is how it looks from the back we have the main control and then we have burner one burner two burner three and burner burner three so we want to work on this side uh these are the other controls for the uh for the oven over there that we're not going to talk about so remember we are replacing the broken uh receptacle first and then we'll continue testing the switch and the other stuff so um so this goes in the front i'm gonna show you how it goes and then the long wires that are gonna connect here to h1 and h2 because i have to pull wires from here i have to remove this this cover to get access to the wirings so there's another two screws here one there and one here so according to the diagram this is upside down so we're gonna have h2 h1 and h2 so we're gonna remove these two And then we're going to pull the wires out. So this is the receptacle I just pulled out. And we're going to put a new one. And I'm going to connect him to H2, H1, and H2. That's it. So these are the two wires. So remember the clips right here. There's another clip here. And this is the receptacle. The new receptacle comes with two types, this one and this type. So this is the old one with the hook. So we're not going to use this one. We're going to use this one to match this one, if you see. And now we're going to connect this one. There's two pumps here and two holes here. So we're going to match those. This has to go like this. So just put it through there and open it up a little bit. So, you know, just open them, open them up and make them clip. And then this is going to go here. We'll put, put our screw from the top. Don't forget to tuck this behind. So now we're going to put it there. It's all the way in. We're going to test, turn on, the light's on. Ah, this is hot, so it's working. OK, 
Okay, let's turn it off. So that's it. So we just tested the uh, burners and we replaced the receptacle. And now we're gonna work with these switches. We're gonna test them. I'm gonna take step by step how to do them. We're gonna do it on a brand new one and I'm gonna show you a diagram. So hopefully you understand the whole process better. This is the infinity switch I just showed you. And I have it here so you can see it better. And this is the switch, this is a new switch. So we are gonna make some tests. For this test, you have to unplug the range or kill the power of the breaker, no electricity whatsoever. So um, this is the switch and you're gonna turn it on from here. Okay, turn, just turn it on. And then we're gonna check L1 and H, L1 and H1. So we're gonna check for continuity with sound. So we put one lead in H1 and the other lead is going to be in L1 and we have continuity that means it's fine now we're going to put a probe on P2 this is P2 P2 and L1 and so P2 is interconnected with H1 and L1 so this is the light when you turn your knob on you see the light that the burner is on this is that and that's in line one. So let me show you here. This is L1, H1, and P2. This is the light. So there has to be continuity on this side. All right. If you don't have continuity on any of these H1, L1, or P2, then your switch is defective and you have to replace it. Now we have to do the other side. We're gonna test L2, and this is L2, and this is our heater, this is our burner. So we're gonna test L2 and H2. That's L2 and H2, and we have to have continuity. If we don't have continuity, then you have to replace your uh, switch. But make sure that you are on on this here. See, I'm gonna turn it off. That's off. And now I don't have continuity. See, now I'm gonna turn it on. And now I have continuity. And then if we measure between L1 and L2, this one and this one, we're going to measure whatever is in the whatever the the border measures so if we put a l our, our probes in l1 and l2 it's going to read this resistance so it should be either 40 or 20 depending what size is your burner so that's it guys that concludes this video remember it was four things it was the burners the switch the wire or the receptacle if you like this video it was beneficial to you please like and subscribe and see you next video